and she's unwilling to tell the truth about Donald Trump. She says he was the right president for the right time. She says that he should have been given a break after January 6th. She says that for some reason, chaos and drama follow him wherever he goes. This is like the arsonist saying, for some reason, burning buildings follow me wherever I go. <laughs> Chaos and drama follow him because he creates it. And if you have any wonder about that, I urge all of you who are in this room and everyone who's watching tonight, go to his Christmas post on social media where he said for anyone who disagrees with him, they can rot in hell. And then he said, Merry Christmas. <laughs> now, this to me is someone who is unfit to be president of the United States. And I have said it over and over and over again. And today, Nikki got asked a question by nine-year-old Adam. Now, if you've been to any of my other town hall meetings, you know that Adam has come a few times, two or three, I think. I think two at least. First time he was complaining about infrastructure. No joke, nine years old, he was talking to me about the highways and why there's so much traffic and why can't we build better highways and what am I gonna do about infrastructure? He's nine. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, my secretary of transportation. <laughs> Nine-year-old Adam today asked her if she was a flip-flopper on Donald Trump and then asked her if she'd pardon him, if she were president. So Nikki gave her typical answer on this, on Donald Trump. She said, well, the anti-Trumpers think I don't say enough bad things about him and the pro-Trumpers say I don't say enough good things about him. And so I guess I'm just right where I'm supposed to be. No, you're not where you're supposed to be because she is smart and she knows what he did on January 6th was wrong. She's smart and she knows that what he did on election night 2020, when he told the American people the election was stolen and he had no evidence to prove it was wrong. And the reason I know she knows it is because she said it back then she won't say it now and you know Ron DeSantis who I have some disagreements with as well but at least Ron DeSantis has been willing to stand up and say under no circumstances will I accept the vice presidential nomination from Donald Trump and I've stood up and said and I will say again tonight under no circumstances will I accept any job from Donald Trump but Nikki Haley won't say it when she's asked that question, you know what she says? I don't play for second. Now look, none of us would allow our children to get away with an answer like that. How'd you do on that test? You know I'm an excellent student. <laughs> These answers are insulting from our children. Yet somehow, New Hampshire is going to accept this from a candidate for president of the United States? See, because if she is unwilling to stand up and say that slavery is what caused the Civil War, because she's afraid of offending constituents in some other part of the country, if she's afraid to say that Donald Trump is unfit because she's afraid of offending people who support Donald Trump, and because maybe she harbors in the back of her mind being vice president or being secretary of state, and since she won't deny it, we have to believe that she's willing to do it. If she's unwilling to stand up to that, what's gonna happen when she's gotta stand up to Chuck Schumer 
and Hakeem Jeffries in Congress. What's going to happen when she has to stand up to Vladimir Putin and President Xi in China? What's going to happen when she has to stand up against forces in our own party who want to drag this country deeper and deeper into anger and division and exhaustion? She's unwilling to stand up on this. On, did slavery cause the Civil War? See, some parts of the media, they're missing the import of this. She's not a racist. It's worse in some respects when you want to be president. It's worse to be able to be dishonest with people. And that's what's happening here. She's holding back. Holding back. One last thing on this topic. She said when she was running for governor in 2010 and she was asked the very same question about what caused the Civil War. She said, well, it was a battle between change and tradition. Change and tradition. I guess that tradition was enslaving Africans to work for nothing and to have no freedom. Tradition. I'm sure Nikki will see this. So I want to talk directly to her, okay? The Civil War was not a choice between change and tradition. It was a choice between right and wrong, and that's it. And we got to stand on the side of right.